so next topic that we are going to discuss is Pega Maestro. is a mean through which we can actually enter Pega UI and processing capability into any external website. Any external website. External website is HTML. Doesn't matter if it is JSP or it is dot net. Big website. You can actually infuse pega screen or pega process there in your website external website so you will often see a situation where companies uh, i mean every organization has their website right but they develop some uh, feature in pega right and that they want to make available to their uh, online users so of course pega can be launched directly for them at the different website or different link there on the website they can use directly uh, pega the alternate way is that okay they will keep Pega in, uh, basically in house they will not expose that directly to the customer or the clients uh, in our public website we will just embed the Pega portion so if they want to uh, basically submit a claim that claim uh, we can develop a claim management system at Pega we can develop a claim processing case in, in Pega and that that case be can be embedded in their website okay so this is why we use mashup so um pegas i mean creating mashup is very very easy in pega right um you just need to decide whether you are going to have the case creation logic um, on the mashup on the external website or you're going to display a harness there are several things that we can do we can fetch some record from pega and display that through the mashup plenty of actions that we will look at second thing that you need to be aware of to practice is that that where we actually infuse our mashup or where we include the mashup that is on a website. The website needs to be running. And in order to run a website, what do you need? A server. So, right? We need a server. So, if we want to test the mashup, we will just, we need to have a website. You know that Pega Personal Edition comes with Tomcat, right? So, Tomcat is an application server. Okay. So, if you, look at the installation directory where you have pega installed so this is the tomcat right web app is the root directory anything that you have here is part of your resource URL okay so there is uh, already an existing example URL and there is an index file there okay this one now if you want to access this index file your Tomcat is your local host 8080 right then if you just say example just a second examples okay so if you type in this examples that means you are into dev apps examples okay and then index.html just be that automatically gets rendered on the screen okay so this is acting i mean localhost 8080 is our web server website okay and this examples.html i mean index.html is our website okay so let's modify this and that's where here we are going to embed an HTML, uh, sorry, embed Pega Masha. All right, so let's edit this one. So, title I'm going to change it to Pega Masha demo. Uh, we don't need anything else here in the body, we will just have the okay now. At first, we are going to include just create case ability. Okay, so someone will be able to create a case. All right, whenever they launch that mashup, it will automatically create a case. So, leave adjustment is the case that uh, we want to create. So, let me show you that. 
how to generate a mashup so from the app studio or dev studio you can generate the mashup both places or even from the case if you go to the setting so leave adjustment is the case that we are going to put on the mashup you will see integration yeah here so generate massive code that will automatically generate the code for you but you will have to confirm the url okay so let's just confirm this generate code see this is the html code that gets generated now this one is going to be create new work okay these are called uh, data mashup tags basically that gives us information that this is going to be pega gadget that will be loaded uh, action is going to be create new work this is the class of which work has to be created right um, any starting flow or things like that okay you can include so this is one way of creating the mashup you can just copy that entire code and paste it into html the other way is go to the application menu and channel and interface so channel and interfaces, I mean channels are basically the means through which um, users interact with Pega or Pega interacts with the user, right? So here too we have web mashup. You can have multiple web mashup defined and created. So we will say that Pega demo mashup, okay? This is okay. Now, these are the options that you have for the mashup. You can create a new cache. You can display a page. Page is a harness okay you can display entire harness on harness you can have create case display report or anything you can do there's a get next work feature that can be launched there you can open a particular assignment there on the mashup you can open a case by providing the case id you can open a case by providing the key of the case that is pjns key and you can open a case by url okay so we are going to do the create case okay then it will ask you which case type do you want to create through that web adjustment head name is okay i uh, will leave everything else to the default now click on generate mesh see it also generates an iframe code if you want to but we will just have this one copy and let's place it here in the body okay now if you run it in your um okay so there is one more thing that we need to understand if we are embedding the pega into an external website okay the website needs to authenticate with pega or that particular user who is going to use the mashup needs to authenticate with pega right so depending upon uh, the situation sometime we want to um, we, we don't want the user to be logged in in order to create a case on pega through the mashup right so we will have to provide the authentication detail so in the case where people anyone without login can launch a case and create a case or basically work on pega site we have something called anonymous authentication okay we will have to set that up they will have to just log in i mean the 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 mashup will be set up to log in automatically by using that user all right so that will be the second part that we will discuss later okay so in this one we are just going to uh, basically use an existing session so if you just launch the website that website in a session of the browser where you are already logged in you will just see the mashup capability and in the next phase i'm going to basically create an anonymous authentication user okay and then we will use that user to launch the mashup on the external website okay so this is the mashup i've already put it here so I have already logged in in this session. Let me just refresh it. See, now this is in a website. This is not Pega. I mean, it is using my session because I'm logged in in the same browser session is being shared. But this is how Pega can be launched there, right? If you want to um, display a harness, display a page basically, let's say uh, work ui pages sorry not work ui pages but ui pages so there is another list of uh, 
so this is going to give us list of adjustment leave adjustment cases okay so i can save this and generate the mashup code now this time you will see that this is dis, uh, this is going to be harness name this is display action not create work okay so if i copy this page and paste it here save it so this is going to display me the list of cases this is what the harness has okay of course i can open these cases as well and i can work because harness are very powerful you can have the case created within the harness by configuring that on a control and things like that right so this is how harness work but this is again we haven't configured the authentication okay so let's configure an authentication service authentication service is a mean through which people authenticate with pega okay all right so let's see how we can develop an authentic um, anonymous authentication service okay that we can leverage here in the mashup so that uh, if you have that url you can launch it anywhere you do not have to log in or you do not need to have a pre-existing session so authentication service let's create one this is sysadmin category authentication sorry service So we are going to have anonymous type okay let's say public user okay so this is create anonymous so uh, we will say public alias that will be part of your url okay so see this is going to be your anonymous users authentication login url okay if you click on that nobody is going to ask you to log in it is going to be using the setting that we are going to provide okay now here in the authentication you will have to provide uh, basically i mean see every session in pega runs with a requester that requester has to be made up either by providing a model operator or by using organization hierarchy or data transform we are going to use a model operator so i'm going to create a model operator first and for that i'm going to create an access group uh, this access group i'm just saving it as public okay all right now i'm going to save as my operator public user it and open and uh, its access group is going to be the one that we created right public user this is not right. all right there is one more thing on the public user we will just have the user portal let's remove this so it's not necessarily that we can use it in the mass up only we can use it outside of the mass up as well the link that will be generated all right um so this public user is going to be used as a default user for all the session initiated uh, by anonymous authentication okay so this doesn't need to have username and pa i mean this doesn't need to have um, password so this is going to be marked as an external authentication this is using external authentication you can mark it like that so this is the operator that we are going to use to create the session for all the anonymous request okay that's it oh sorry public so now this authentication service is ready you can open any session so i'm going to open an incognito window where session cannot be shared we'll see nobody asked me to log in i'm directly landing on the user portal because that's what the users portal is right that's what uh, basically i mean user portal is what we set up on the access group now if i use this url in my mashup so this is the mashup okay if i change that to this anonymous users url 
the mass up is truly global okay so now this is the mass up url right i'm going to open another incognito window see no login right i can open another browser as well no login right um and this is through the mashup you can go back uh, go there and change back the code to create uh, a case if you wish so let's go back to the channel and interface again and this time we are going to revert back to creating a case leave adjustment this is okay sorry you'll have to save before you click on the create generate mashup code right now i'm going to copy this and i'm going to replace this code there and i will have to replace the url too yeah this is authentication sorry and now if you just launch this url anywhere else it will give you new cases there so you can have rest of the html website your website around it okay you can have header footer whatever you want to have it have there you can have it right so for example i can have a heading And I can have another table or whatever I want down there as well. And if you refresh this, so see, yeah, so it's not a size, it's a piece. So it's actually a website where we are using Pega. It's not dumb, demo is. All right, so this is how Pega mashup with anonymous authentication works. There is one more way to authenticate, and that has been our old way of authentication, which is called AIC authentication. Um, Pega IAC authentication, sorry, Internet Application Container. Okay, IAC authentication, but since the inception of anonymous we do not necessarily need to use iac anonymous has been now uh, mainstream um, basically way of embedding pega mashup for public user where there is no login if there is a login if we need to have the users logged in and they have an account on pega then we actually have to authenticate them using one or other way maybe sso maybe something like that or alternatively you can pass their username and password encrypted in an encrypted way using this parameter tag you can read that uh, when the authentication service i mean using iac authentication service activity you can read that and then uh, basically validate that and then authenticate them with actual username and password that they are sending so we have a way of sending parameters from the mashup code okay from the website uh, even sometime pega needs a lot of other information that is not built in the pega but that is available on the website right so if that information has to be sent to pega in order to create a case or display something all those information should be coming in this tag with the parameter name and value pair okay all right so this concludes the pega mashup with anonymous authentication service